Good evening, everyone. I'm Carmine Jamey. Tonight we had a matchup that both divides and unites Casper. Kelly Walsh at Natrona County Volleyball. The Trojans are back-to-back -back state champs, so I asked Mustangs head coach Michael Botkin about his team's chances. I mean, that's why you play, and it's going to make us better. So that's what I tell the girls all the time. If we get better 1% each day, we're going to be okay. So that's what we hopefully we can gain out of this. These two played each other in the first game of the season in Cheyenne, and Kelly Walsh won 25-17 and 25-19. But tonight, NC was juiced up to host the 11-1 Trojans. Look at that dig by Kylie Hildebrand. A couple touches later, Anna Fink sets, and Quincy Morin gets way up for the kill. She and her sister Parker are hyped up to put the Phillies ahead 8-2 in the first set. It went to extra points. Kelly Walsh up 28-27. Future cowgirl Corn Carruth with the serve, and NC can't control it. The Trojans come back to win the first set, then they easily won the second set. Here they're up 24 18 with match point. Check out Kylie Hildebrand coming right into your living room. But then Kelly Walsh goes right back to their big gun. Isabel Lyons sets up Corn Carruth, and she's the truth. Kelly Walsh wins in straight sets over the Mustangs 29 27, 25 12, and 25 18. After the game, I asked Coach Jeff Barkell about the energized first set. Natrona kind of took it to us. I mean, they came out like they were going to take on hell with a squirt gun, and they really came after us. And so, you know, I, I just was trying to calm them down and, and just get them to think about what we do and not try to do too much and, you know, that sort of thing. If they play the way we know how to play, I think we're typically in pretty good shape. It's been fun playing with those girls when I was younger, playing against them now because it's always a battle. It's always a lot of energy, and it's, it's really fun to just, uh, I don't know, just be out here with your friends and playing a sport you love. The volleyball rematch will be Tuesday, October 22nd at Kelly Walsh. Now we go from the court to the course. Today, nine teams competed at day one of the Casper Golf Invitational. And check out this moment on the par 5 14th. Kelly Walsh star Barrett Lloyd rolls one in for Eagle. Her Trojan girls are looking for a state championship for Pete this year. The next putt, Natrona County's Cammie Langley hits one in for Birdie. And that's the crosstown rivalry spirit. Thunder Basin's Maria Farnham and the Trojans' Russell Sprecher are currently in the lead, along with their teams as well. We're just one week away from the state tournament in Gillette. It's always great to have our tournament the week before state. We enjoy having a big field, and it's kind of a... Um, precursor to see what state might be like. Casper's very similar to Gillette in regards to weather. We always have a ton of wind at Bell Knob and for us to play in a little wind here at Casper, I think it's kind of gets us mentally prepared and physically prepared for state next week. Staying in Casper, the Kelly Walsh football team is trying to bounce back. In their home opener last week, they lost a tough one 55-0 against Cheyenne East. The Trojans are now 0-2 and they visit 0-2 Cheyenne South tomorrow night. And guys, in our high school football huddle game of the week, number four Sheridan is hosting number one Natrona County. Either one of those two teams has won nine of the last ten state championships. Oh, it's going to be a big game. That'll be a great one. Check that out 10 o'clock tomorrow night. All right, thanks very much. Yep. We'll be right back.